All right, we also have breaking news in our area as well. Five people shot and one person is dead after a shooting just steps from the Capitol building in Sacramento this morning. Happened about 2 a.m. Police tell us it went down at 15th and L Street outside of a popular nightclub called the Mix Club. The Thomas Unified School District confirmed the identity of the victim in the deadly shooting. We are saddened by the news of the passing of Greg Grimes. Our heartfelt thoughts are with his family and friends and all the individuals connected uh, with his work at Intercom High School. Grimes was an assistant football coach at the school. He graduated from Intercom in 2008 and went on to play football at Boise State before he came home to coach his alma mater at Intercom. We have live team coverage on this this morning. ABC 10's Devin Truby talked to people who were nearby when the shooting happened. But first, let's take it to ABC 10's Monica Coleman, who has more about what we've learned on the investigation. Monica, you've been on this since four this morning. Yeah, well, and Sacramento police are calling this a homicide. Just imagine young people came out last night trying to enjoy themselves, ring in the 4th of July, but then shots were fired. You can see right behind me, still a very active police scene. Evidence markers all across the road there, and the suspect still on the loose. Big old bang, big, big, bang, bang. That was the sound of bullets. 26 year old Corey Everett says that rang through the air Monday morning outside Mix Nightclub in downtown Sacramento, taking the life of one and injuring four others. Some of the security told us to stay in the, over by the tables and stuff, but most of the time we were just staying in the back and we had to go. Evidence markers lined the street outside of Mix Nightclub. Police tape wrapped around numerous blocks as the homicide investigation continues. This appears to be outside and it appears to have happened in the street. And we've actually, as you can see behind me, have a number of blocks in the downtown area shut down as we conduct this investigation. Now Sacramento police are asking anyone with video or pictures from the 4th of July morning shooting to upload them using a QR code found on their social media pages, similar to the portal that was used to find evidence of the April K Street shooting. Are seeking the public's help in trying to solve this crime and bring justice to the victims. As for Everett, he says he is saddened that a night that was supposed to be a celebration of Independence Day combined with a friend's birthday has now ended in yet another shooting blocks away from the K Street shooting that shook the city just months ago. I was a little feared, but I wasn't really that scared. Because, I mean, what happened like a few days, was it a few months ago? So, yes, yeah, I've heard it before. Back out here live, you're looking at one of the many cameras that are present right here on 16th Street. And remember, when the K Street shooting happened just in April, that was one of the promises from Sacramento PD that more security was going to be here in downtown and in Old Sacramento. So they are using these cameras and are asking for the public's help. Upload any pictures, any videos to that QR code that you can find on Sac PD's social media pages to help bring some justice for these victims. Walt. Yeah, indeed, especially with the shooter or shooters at large. This is an active situation. Monica Coleman, thank you. Great work out there today. Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg has released a statement, and there it is what you see in part here uh, after the 4th of July shooting. Whether it's a mass shooting or an altercation that turns deadly, the root cause is the same. The proliferation of guns and lack of adequate societal and mental health supports in our country. It means more people are armed and ready to pull the trigger. We all know this. End of quote. This comes just days after Steinberg attended the Peace in the Streets rally at the state capitol. The group has organized voices. They were behind the event to show support for the families impacted by gun violence. For more information now on that 15th Street shooting, active, still looking for a shooter, residents in the area say they woke up in shock to the large police presence. But this isn't the first time. Many have had the same experience month ago, early April actually, with the K Street shooting. ABC 10's Devin Truby joins us now for more on the reaction of the people who live near the shootings. It's a green light and they got the red Walt, we've spoke with multiple residents that live here in the area of Capitol and 17th Street that say they're concerned about safety. Neighbors in the area tell us that safety has been decreasing over the past few years. One woman that preferred not to go on camera says she's lived in Sacramento her whole life and remembers a time when she could walk around downtown and not have to worry about violence. One man, Jacob, who has lived here for a decade, told us he woke up and saw it on the news and thought how unfortunate that this happened on a holiday weekend. Not much going on with, with, with politics and stuff too, so things just, a lot of things are misguided and there's, 
there's probably not enough going on for youth, but I don't know, police could probably do more, you know, patrolling the area at nighttime. Granted, the what's happened in the in the recent in the recent times. We asked folks what they would like to see next happen in this area. Some said a larger police presence. Others talk about the larger issue of gun violence. And one woman said, unfortunately, she doesn't think there is anything that can be done. This is just Sacramento. Walt. Okay, that's Devin Truby. Uh, interesting words there from Jacob that you talked to. Can't disagree with any of that. Uh, here's where we stand right now with the shootout we just had in Sacramento. Yeah, also had the K Street shootout in April. Six people were killed then, 12 hurt. Three men were charged in connection with that shooting, Amtula Payton and brothers Smiley and Dondre Martin. All three charged in the murders of Jean Taya Alexander, Melinda Davis, and Yumile Martinez. And if you have any information about the L Street shooting, which was this morning, or any video evidence that maybe you know, have taken the video, know where some can be found. Sacramento police have activated this QR code to submit your video.